We often have periods in our lives where we feel procrastination. Days or perhaps weeks where our hobbies become mundane and our daily interactions go to autopilot. It's at this period when the thought occurs that we ought to be productive and to stop slouching around. Though this is not always enough motivation to get us back on our feet, the very idea that we have this thought is interesting. Because it beckons the question, is it really that important to do anything? It is this, I think, Memory of God's 2017 nostalgic title, Where the Goats Are, seeks to answer. You see, in the game you narrate the daily life of Tikva, a young farm girl at heart grown old, and like many of us, she shares a daily routine which you, the player, decide. Managing activities such as making cheese, drawing water, and trading with a travelling merchant, the game is turned into a short-lived econ simulator that is ultimately in your hands. In a spare time you can choose to sing, drawing the sand and wander about, replicating the healthy balance of work and play we are all familiar with. Despite this carefree lifestyle, there is still the thought at the back of your mind that perhaps things are not what they are cut out to be. Tikva's gentle movement through her pen feels eerily slow even for her age, and the gradually concerning letters that arrive in her mailbox give a sense of mortality. Before it is too late, you come to find out that a terrible storm is coming, and in there lies the true purpose of the game. To decide Tikva's last days. At face value, the answer to whether it is important to do anything seems blatant, because no matter how much cheese you make, how dedicated you are to watering your plants, or even ironically how long you pray for, in the end, Tikva and the goats, a symbol for us as humans, die. But I think this answer is wrong. I believe memory of God is telling us a far more meaningful message. He wants us to understand that just because there will be pitfalls in our lives and we will all eventually cease to exist, the importance we place on our goals shouldn't be any less. Through playing as Tikva, we are reminded of our ability to control that which is in our immediate vicinity. A reminder that is further amplified when we realise, unlike the old heifer whose run has come short, we still have an opportunity to play again. And so we should, when the time comes. But till then, we need to keep moving forward. We need to understand that our doubts can only be swept away by our deeds.